Good at morning guys, welcome to today. Today is a rainy summer day. It's nice outside in terms of heat. It's not super humid, not super hot. I hate rain season, but I love a rainy day, you guys. I love hearing it on the roof. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I hate it for horses. Aw, what happened? I think she took out her own braids. That answers that question. So people are saying absolutely take braids out. <gasps> Hello, Mr. Man. Penny knows the rules. This is what I'm trying to tell you guys. My girl likes to know the rules. Doesn't like people telling her what to do. That's not yours. And then you're over here because Whoa, wait, that's rude. Rude. Because they're mean to you. And it is a flood out there. And Jacob had my flag. Now it's destroyed again. Hi, handsome boy. Were you out in the rain and decided you didn't like it? He's sleeping on the couch here. When I came in this morning. Oh, you're such a cute boy. I sat down and he ran off. But he might come back because... <laughs> No cat likes the rain. Come here. He is adorable. You are adorable. Anyway, welcome to today's video. Girls are still sleeping. It is early. It is raining. It is dark and it is dreary. Had the grandkids for the whole entire weekend. Friday, Saturday, and we took them home Sunday. And it was a blast. I love them so much. I have two other grandchildren. They're younger. And so when I visit them, I just visit them. I don't keep them overnight yet. But soon, soon you guys, as soon as humanly possible, I will bring them as well because they are a riot. That's Penny with curly hair. Love her with curly hair. Did you guys see how amazing a Penny is with adorable little kids? She's so good with kids. She just loves kids and she's the same every time. She makes a beeline for kids. He just adores them. That's a good horse. A horse that likes kids is a horse that's been well trained. And what's interesting is that sometimes people feel like kids shouldn't be around animals, especially like small animals. But I believe the opposite. I believe that kids are the best socializers. I believe the kids are the best socializers ever. It's supposed to rain all day today, and it's unfortunate because today is a busy day for us. Today is the day we finally sort out saddle issues with Sylvie's least horse chance. The reason that rain today is not optimal for us is because we have a lesson and a saddle fit appointment. And basically, the rain means only one arena is open. Typically, Gabby could ride in the outdoor with the coach and then the saddle fit could happen in the indoor. But, unfortunately, there will be no outdoor riding because of the rain. But in typical day-by-day -day fashion, we're just gonna wing it and go with it and see where life takes us. If you wait for everything to be perfect before you do something, you're never gonna get it done. It's never going to get done. Sometimes you have to take a leap of faith and just get out there and do what you've been wanting to do, even if the conditions and the situation is not completely perfect. It's in those situations where things are not completely perfect where we learn the most. Obviously with horses, you need to take safety into consideration, but when safety is not an issue, take a leap of faith, guys. Just take a leap of faith. So, Sophie has new breeches on. And a really bad sunburn. And a really bad sunburn. For you guys who don't know. And it's just where my t-shirts go down to. Yeah, so it's not, like it looks red in the camera. Let's let's yeah, show them. Don't touch, don't touch. I don't know why she's so sensitive. I can't move it. Oh my gosh. Anyways, new breeches. I love them, they're adorable. They look different, come in here. So, they're super shiny. I can't get it in the camera. They're super shiny though. Yeah, there you go, you can kind of see it. They're weird. Totally different, but I like them. They're super cute. I know black. Dang so, it, Mom! You're matching! Yeah, I'm matching. I'm We're matching both wearing her. blue shirts. Yeah, and I'm wearing black pants and you're wearing but mine are capris. Anyways. Yeah, so, I, these are my new ones. Mom's wearing blue pants. 
Actually, not black. They're blue. No, mine are black. Kate, okay, can you come upstairs and help me put something on? Yeah, I have to go help Sophie. Like, she literally got the most mild sunburn. So mild. I, I didn't get a sunburn at all. Blue. That is 100% blue. It's black. It's not um, black. It's blue. I can't even Listen, it's black. did you get a sunburn? Yeah. Let's see it. I can't because my shirt's not stretchy. All right, well, barely though. But does it hurt? Oh, a little bit if you scratch it. Well, Sophie's. It, look, it's all bubbly. Gabby! Don't touch it. Just wait. Let me see. It's all bubbly. Oh, yeah, she got blisters. <gasps> let me see. Oh. Don't press on my shoulder. All right, I see. She just got a little tiny bit of. Wow. You did get a sunburn. It hurts. Wow. All right, well, let's go on the other side, too. Uh, probably. Oh, no, let's check. Stop! Don't. Yes. Yep. Ow. No. Stop. Where? See, it's all bubbles. Oh, I did see it. Oh, well. Ow, she started to put. She started to put sunscreen on, and then said, "I want to get a little bit of a tan," and then didn't put well, it on. Well, my legs got tanned. <laughs> yeah. And the rest of my arms. <laughs> Just your shoulders. So we are on our way to the barn. Everything is a mess. It's raining. So the outdoor arena is closed because, I mean, it's oh, not closed, but we're not having lessons because it's soaked out there. And then they're in the process of doing hay. So they have to keep all the dry hay that they haven't gotten to the barn yet in the indoor. So yeah, I, don't, I just have a feeling God's trying to say, no, Laura, don't get a custom saddle for a horse that might or might not work. Like, pouring rain just as we pulled into the driveway it started to pour rain and now I have to go with Gabby Sophie and try and catch your horse it is wet all right go get him go get your horse I'm cold but then my blisters are making it steaming hot imagine now the saddle fitter calls and says Laura you know it's rainy I can't do saddles in the rain oh my god they're all at the can't <laughs> down in the, in the thing and then he heard Sophie call and he went like this like and his ears perked forward that. hurry up we're gonna be late I can't walk his it. ears just perked right he <laughs> stared at us again that's why you need to on it. <laughs> and then he was antsy, so he's... oh <laughs> Okay. And I had to reach all the way up because he put his head all the way up so I could put him out there. He's so And now my blisters hurt even more. <laughs> Alright, you guys go ahead. I'm getting in the he's car. Like, he's like, I'm never going back out there. So I'm frozen. I'm soaked. I have a raincoat at least. Oh man. I am a wet. I'm like, my hair is not wet. It's the only part of me. The rest of me is frozen. Oh yeah. What a day. What a day. This is going to be a noisy appointment. Nothing is going right. I have to pee really bad, but there's no way in heck. I'm going out there until the rain goes down. Ah! Well, hello, Mr. Magoo. Wow, there's like a big puddle under you. All right, I'm going to have to find a towel and dry you off. People are going to be like, why are you even here on a rainy day like this? Why are we even here? <laughs> I'm gonna grab. Yeah, I'm gonna grab a towel for the horse. I don't know if you guys can see, but the arena is flooded. It's a flood zone everywhere. Look right there, even. So we are here, and we have such good news. You guys are gonna be shocked. Wait until you hear what he wants to do. All right, it's time. We're gonna try stuff out. And the rain stopped just in time, thankfully. We'll have to get a rain sheet. Yeah. So that's cool. And that, that works? Well, we'll see. We need to see our own. Okay. So how much, so something harder? Not harder, just... More firm that can hold the saddle up? Hold the, the, the squish better. And then, because of the, the, the inserts, we can rebalance a little bit the front up because the saddle was 
you know, more open for or was wider. Yeah. So you got to bring the lack of new. Yeah. Right okay. Back. So how do we do that then? Everything is wet and not working out well. But anyway, he put this pad on, and I'm gonna explain why it's this really thick pad, and <laughs> it's wild. this Sophie saddle still sitting oh. on the on his withers so basically he's saying that he can get new panels for Sophie's saddle and make it fit this horse which is so good but he needs to gain like 300 pounds and so it's dumb to make panels for a horse that has no meat up here so he wants us to uh, try and get this saddle to work for her which I love that idea pression to mesh it feels need... so thick yeah, but it's not. It's no, that's good. Than that. Yeah. And the withers relief. Okay. So that's very important. Because yeah. It's got also the channel for the, the spine. Yeah, that's cool. Um, you need to get two sets of inserts. Of inserts. So the one that comes with the pad and yeah. an extra one. Okay. So then what you're going to do is put two up here. Yeah. And I'm almost tempted to say. Two extra than what comes. Yeah, with the so pads. three then pads up here. Three, two, and two. Three, two, and two. Yeah, that's that would be my recommendation. Okay. And so then you're probably not going to see any collapsing. Okay. Like, and then you're probably going to be able to use the saddle and okay. see how the horse changes, it gets weight. Okay. And, and then finally do the panels. All right. But don't. Yeah. So this is the this is the saddle pad she tried and. It is really thick, but it compresses so much that it didn't work for him. It allowed the saddle to sit on his withers. So now we're trying another one, and it's not perfect yet, but it could be. So it's this one that I just showed you, and it's it's weird. It's it's mesh, and it's more firm, so it holds the place better than this, which compresses. Does that make sense? Yeah, I can already see a difference. Can you see a difference? So this horse is definitely very sensitive in his wither. Yeah. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Wow. So this horse, he says, is very sensitive, which we know, like in terms of his body, touching him and stuff. And he notices a change right away. Like I noticed a change right away in this one. Do you? And it's not even perfect. Perfect. But just the way he's moving forward so much faster. Do you agree? Yeah, it's clear. Freer, yeah, that's it's the right word. Very, you probably anticipate. Yeah, because we've been. With yeah. On yeah, because it's been literally a month of us trying different saddles, and every single one has pretty much been bad on his withers. All right, so we're gonna do everything that you said. Are you, you are a magician. No, 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 no. No, I just need to get. You are close, as close to a magician as you can get. He needs to have more clearance in this. Too. Yeah, and even on his back, like you said. I it love it. it so there's something, like we tried that other pad, the, um, the gel pad, and he hated that it thing. Is that what it is? I'm not a big fan of it. I don't know if it like compressed. I think he's not a fan of no, compression. It doesn't compress, but no? it, doesn't, it, it doesn't relieve the withers area. Yeah. But this has nothing at the waiter's area, so you really put the weight of the rider on each side. Yeah, wow. Yes, I get it, what you're it's saying. On the it, it, okay, well then you fixed us, my friend. All right. You like that a little better, Sophie? Yeah. All right. The balance should be better, not tipping forward. Yeah, he always gets... Yeah, you gotta push him with your inside leg and keep going. Yeah, so push him with your inside. Do you, what? What do you ride? English, obviously. Oh, yeah. Push him. Inside leg, go. <laughs> He's going right over to the wall. Yeah, left, leg, left leg. Left leg. Good job, Good job Sophie. <laughs> we have to hire you to come give us a lesson. All right, well, I love it. Do you have a catalog or anything no. with all, just the yeah, website? Yeah, you can look on the website. Yeah. We'll order it that way and, and uh, with the extra sets. Yeah. The two extra sets. For sure. Yeah, three, two, and two. Good. 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 Okay, and then once we get the weight on, I'm going to... Then we can think of... All right, I'm going to... Yeah. That, what we do with the pads is what the cell would be built in. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, is that the same stuff? That's that you... the same story. Is it the same stuff inside no, that? No, no, no. Okay. No. But 
that's the idea about getting it up and down. Yeah. I love it. All right, I'm gonna tell you guys what he said. I think I just already did, but I'm gonna tell you. So we called the saddle fitter that we've used in the past and we love him. And basically, like I said, we tried two different- Can you come catch me on this side? The yeah. last time I almost fell because I was so, it's okay. See, it's gonna be better. He, he says that he's anticipating him having, he's anticipating the saddle being pushed onto his weathers. Sunburn's gone. We gotta give him back the pad, unfortunately. So basically, he told us that um, he's super sensitive in terms of like, he's got that thin skin of a thoroughbred and he's like, every part of him, like he's he's sensitive about, you know. Okay, so I'm done. Yeah, so basically, he said that because he has weight to gain and muscle to build, getting the panels of Sophie's saddle, is a waste of time right now he says call him back in a few months when he's at a better weight but we can't really get his muscles and stuff built up until we can ride him so he said he's going to make sophie settle fit him so that she can ride him and then she's they're going to come back and fit the panels so basically how, what that involves is getting a specific saddle pad one with shims but it's a completely different setup than the ones like that we have and stuff and i really like it and we're gonna order it and when it comes in I'll I'll show you guys how it all works like getting it to pick this man's brain has been phenomenal he's got 40 years of saddle fit under his under his belt and everything he says just resonates with me I'm like oh I love this kind of stuff like learning it all and maybe that's what the plan was for us to go this route because there's so much to learn from him and he rides and he was like helping Sophie tell her like push him forward and so anyway I think we got it all figured out guys so lucky I left for him to pay the saddle pad is $3.99 the saddle pad is $400 and then he recommended we buy three sets of shims because um three extra sets of shims and it comes with a set of shims so like four sets of shims. Dad was really telling me how to put my saddle on my locker. Hey, take that out and put a saddle pad underneath it. So, what? What? Why do I have to put a saddle pad underneath it? Because he said, and you need to put the cover on it. Why but, underneath it though? Because he saw like the bars are making marks underneath your saddle. No one will see underneath my saddle. Yeah, but it dents it in and it won't fit good. And let's put the cover on it, please. So anyways, and then the shims are $85. $85? And I don't know if it's for three sets or if it's $85 for one set. Can you hear? My ears are plugged so conveniently. But, you know, even if it's like $700, right? This is an expensive horse. This is an expensive horse because it's still going to cost money to fix the saddle. Horse well, you know what? It worked though. Like we've tried other saddle pads to fix him and adjust for him, and he and it hasn't worked and it hasn't. This, these ones are made out of mesh and they're really firm. So the other ones that we've tried have been like really padded and thick and squishy and they compress. And these mesh ones don't compress, but. Yeah, it's hard to explain, but they're really interesting. I'll show I you guys. This fit. I'll show you guys when they come in. Here, I gotta go because I gotta go ask him if uh, they're in stock. I want that to fit so I can hang it up. Put it over top of your saddle pad. Just don't put the um, sweat side down. It's your best seller. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's neat oh, how it fits. All right, there it all set. It all set there. Five forty-eight oh eight. Nice. And then the shims look like that. And we're going to put three or four in the front here, and then one less in the two back sections. Super cool. I like it. Something every. Yeah, I want to. You want to take them back now? That was freaking amazing. That was amazing. So the eat that was eighty-five dollars for three sets of panels. How much were the panels? Fifty-five dollars a set of panels. Fifty-five dollars. Three of them. Wow. So
So how much did the total come to? Five, almost 600 bucks. 600 bucks, and she's gonna be able to ride him. And but you could use that forever, and it could be He the same. said we could use that forever. He said don't call to change the panels until he's like at his perfect weight and you know for sure that he's the horse that you want like this is this we couldn't have even ask for better like so at 600 bucks it went to the dealer first yeah and that's what i said like why did we waste so much time and not go into like the dealer of our saddle to begin with he like chance it the and once, it only cost 850 dollars to change the panel yeah and it cost 850 dollars to make her saddle permanently fit him but he, uh, right now it would be dumb because he isn't where we want him to be so uh, so basically it costs almost 600 dollars for that saddle pad that would extend the life of her saddle for that horse for as long as we absolutely need because if he gets as he gets bigger we'll take out shims and we'll make it fit him well and he tolerated it really well and it was the perfect fit and he said that it is his best selling item their best sell selling item uh, if i can get a picture i took a picture a video of the saddle pad it has wither relief and and wow it was phenomenal like i think again i think like something like that would be so many people have messaged me saying like their saddle they've struggled with saddle fit as well and a versatile saddle pad like that and we have tried other ones like we have the thin line that has shims and the difference between it is that the difference between that one and the ones that we have are the quality of the material and that's what i keep saying the quality of the material that those shims are made of they don't compress but i guess the other ones don't compress i don't know for whatever reason it was perfect it worked out and this is exactly what we needed and we need to do so sam so they ordered it and he said that it uh he'll find out in two days if it's in stock hopefully it's in stock if it's in stock we'll have it within two weeks so yeah chance was a, a perfect horse he was a good boy for the whole thing also i wanted to tell you that he told me about a product that we can give chance that will help him gain weight and that will work in like a couple of months a couple of months yeah it will work in a couple of months he said that horses gain such small amount of weight at a time like that they gain like a, it's so it's so many grams it's like a pound a day or a half a pound a day or something like that that they only can physically eat so much food and it's a slow process which is what our vet said too but i'm I always worry about that stuff and I see him gaining and I see like he even said like he's got a belly on him he just needs to gain everywhere else and and he says he thinks he needs to gain about 300 pounds so tell me about a product called Gabby you should have came in it was so interesting called uh, high fat pellets and it's a pellet so and it doesn't make them get hot and I've tried like high fat powder before and it did nothing for Chino and I did give it to him for like six months or something and it did nothing so anyway I'm gonna get this these pellets and try and use that and we're gonna adjust it get her saddle to work for him and it works for her and yeah I'm excited so this is what I ended up it's called pure athlete she said it should not make our horse hot it's high fat supplement it's a it's a high it's a high fat supplement not a feed see and it's uh so you add it to their grain it supports normal fat metabolism supports healthy immune function supports and maintains a healthy coat supports muscle cell health normal growth of lean muscle because he almost has plateaued he's gained weight for sure and he's gained a little tiny bit of muscle but he needs a lot more and so um like we waited a bit to see our vet wants him to do it slowly our set the saddle fit guy said he has to do it like slow let me know if you've tried it pure athlete and let me know if it makes your horse hot because we definitely don't want a hot horse and uh we'll see how it works you guys you'll be along this journey with us but i'm so excited about today today was such a good day don't you know that you're beautiful